888-589-8840, if you want to join the program. Uh, so look, the Dow is down 17 points. It was, it opened up about uh, down about 30. Uh, it is off its lows. The Nasdaq is up seven. The S and P is doing nothing. It's just flat right now, for all practical purposes. But the Dow's down uh, 18 uh, right now, 19. Uh, so that's where we are. Let's just see if the. Um, so we should have housing numbers coming out soon. But it's kind of surprising that the other numbers are, well, the S&P just turned negative, but uh, they're not more negative. And this is as a result of Caterpillar. The Caterpillar numbers came out uh, this morning, obviously being negative, uh, not not negative, I'm sorry, but down, uh, did not beat expectations, citing uh, a pretty poor outlook. Uh, for Caterpillar anyway, or I would sh- I should say more for Caterpillar for the global economy based on what Cal- Caterpillar is saying. So I think that's very interesting, 888-589-8840. Uh, let's just take a quick, uh, for those of you, and I know uh, there are an awful lot of people that subscribe to my website that own Caterpillar. I know that for sure. And uh, let me just take a look at it. My guess is that it's going to be... Uh, uh, negative, and it is. It is down. Uh, it's down considerably. So uh, Caterpillar down. So we'll see. We'll see where it goes. But uh, no, it's not down considerably. Down considerably for the year, but not uh, not down that that bad today. Right now, it's at uh, eighty. It's at eighty. So it closed on Friday at eighty forty three. So it's down about forty two cents. It's down eighty uh, oh one right now. So. That's where Caterpillar is, but uh, certainly all the uh, all the account, all the uh, indices except for the Nasdaq, and the Nasdaq looks like it's headed negative. Uh, the Dow's down thirty one. Triple eight five eight nine eighty eight forty. Triple eight five eight nine eighty eight forty. You're listening to AFR Talk Financial Issues. Let me go to Richard. Richard calling us from Mississippi. Hi, hey, Richard. Man. How are yes, you? Yes, sir. I, I just wanted to call in. You had that challenge. Uh, about having heard uh, about this GDP yes. change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And early this morning, um, I turned on the government radio here, the uh, public broadcasting system, and uh, uh-huh. uh, they they mentioned that the that the change was going to be on is their business section, and they mentioned that the change was going to be good because it would have defense spending and stuff like the president's new. Uh, you know, millions of dollars for brain research. So, you know, right. things things that, you know, were, weren't being covered. And it'd be okay. like an increase, you know, the size of Belgium's economy. You know, it's, it, they made it sound just wonderful. Yeah. They made it sound like um, it's going to be a good thing. I guess they, uh, PBS reporting uh, that I, I, I guess it from a positive standpoint. Um, how about that? You know, it's 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 funny, though, that we we don't have any other mainstream media. We have uh, the the left uh, reporting it as a positive, of course, which is what you would expect, uh, which I wouldn't be surprised if others report it as a positive. But, wow, that's great. I, you know what? I, I that that gives me even though the reporting of it might be a little skewed, at least somebody reported it. And maybe so I got to believe if PBS did that. I don't know, maybe Bloomberg or some other uh, CNN, uh, MSNBC maybe reported it too from from uh, uh, a positive uh, spin on it. Hey, that's good stuff. Thank you, Richard. I appreciate you calling in and, and uh, weighing in on that uh, with us. So PBS is reporting. They're saying it's a positive. Here's the thing. It's now going to include all the research and development, the billions of dollars that the president is giving for, uh, let's just say, solar energy, battery research, uh, windmill research, all those billions of dollars. J- just, just, giving, just giving a company those billions of dollars is going to be good now for GDP, and they're looking at that as a positive. All the research and development that goes on, which is an enormous amount, is a matter of fact, um, some of the states, 
small states, their personal GDP, the, the, the GDP of their particular state is going to go up dramatically because there are states, uh, Connecticut, Massachusetts, other states <clears throat> that have an enormous amount of research and development in the, in the defense industry. So their GDP as a state is going to shoot through the roof. And there are other states. Uh, the report that I saw, again, uh, a detailed report coming out of Europe, the, the report that I saw indicates some states like it, 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 it included, the only one I really remember, is um, uh, Louisiana. And Louisiana says that their GDP is actually you know, going to stay the same or decrease because they're not doing a lot of this research and development. States like uh, North Jersey, uh, New, New Jersey, because of all the R&D that goes on in North Jersey in the pharmaceutical industry, state of Delaware, Joe Biden's state, where there's a lot of research and development going on, particularly in the financial sector, are going to do very well as individual states when it comes to GDP. Here's the thing, folks. What about jobs? What about jobs? So I guess July we're going to have the first time in the nation's history where we're going to have dramatic increase in the GDP and we're going to have unemployment doing nothing. We're still going to have 13 million people unemployed, maybe 14 million by then. It's not going to do anything. But here's, here's what's going to happen. They can cook the books all they want and they can include all these things and they can drive GDP uh, up for the reasons that I stated earlier that I believe in. They're not going. They can try. I know because they all think that that all of us are still living in some sort of, you know, with our head buried in the sand. They're the only ones with their head in the sand. I can tell you this. The American people will not be conned. The American people know what's going on. The American people are going to know how much money they have in their paycheck. The American people are going to know about their friends and relatives that still can't get a job. The American people are going to understand that uh, milk, eggs, butter, uh, you know, other things that they need are still going up in price. The American people are going to figure that out. The American people are still going to be able to figure out that their standard of living is going to be going down in the midst of GDP going up. But I'm sure there are many that are going to paint this. And I, I, you know, from a, from a positive perspective. And I want you to remember, and I don't say that, not forget financial issues. I want you to remember that you heard it first on American Family Radio. It's one of the reasons why we do the share so that myself and others can continue to get this news out. American Family News covering things that nobody else is talking about or covering. And here's the thing. You know, in the news media in general, news, when, when a talk show host or the news breaks a story or is talking about something that nobody else is talking about, they love that. Now, if you haven't noticed over the last three or four years, I can't stand it. It literally drives me crazy because I'm always thinking that it shouldn't be just me. Why is no one else talking about this in the same vein that I'm talking about it? That's what drives me crazy. It's wrong. It's just wrong that the majority of the American people need to be ill-informed. Anyway, 888-589-8840. Let me go to Chris. Chris calling us from uh, Louisiana. Hey, hey, Chris. Hey. How are you? All right. How are you doing? Oh, Iowa. I'm sorry. I see that. I thought yeah, that was an L. I, I thought it was an L.A. Okay, go ahead. You know, I was uh, just calling and I was listening to you talking over here in Iowa, and uh, I I got to thinking. You know, if we, I don't know how you plan on just cutting things. I mean, if you on a national basis, and, and for everything to turn out right there, I think, in my opinion, I guess, yeah. I think it would be better if uh, you did cut. The waste, of course, but then you have to do some investments too. I mean, yeah. because you have to look around and you look at China. Woo, that's a yeah. big problem there if you uh, want to just cut things. Because you know, 
I've read a lot about what they're doing over there, and a lot of a lot of things they're doing is they have their uh, government investing in uh, businesses, companies, corporations, and so forth. And uh, you know they yeah. got over a billion people there. You know, Chris, uh, <clears throat> Chris, I'm, I'm right up against a hard break, but I want you to keep listening because I'm going to address what you say. I agree with some, some of what you're saying, but I just want to give you a perspective on that when we compare us to China. I got to run, though. Thanks, Chris. Great stuff. 888-589-8840. We'll be right back after the news. AFR Talk. I'm Dan Celia.